Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow cilantro in IDU 8 pod hydroponic system. I made a couple of videos about growing cilantro in the past. Germination is very tricky and unreliable with cilantro seeds. So I always use wet paper towel method. At the same time, I am also exploring other options to make this whole process simple and straightforward. I tried placing the seeds directly in Aero Garden sponges many times in the past and the success rate was always very low. But I never tried placing the seeds directly in any other hydroponic systems. So I am trying it now in IDU for the first time. One huge difference between Aero Garden and many other hydroponic systems is the water irrigation setup. Aerogoden pumps the water to each sponge and the sponges are wet all the time. Few seed varieties don't like too much wet and cilantro is one of them. Coming to I do, water doesn't flow to the sponges in this system. Sponges touches the water and absorb the water so that the sponges are always moist but they won't be too much wet. So, cilantro seeds may be happy with this kind of environment. Let's see. I still want to crack the seeds to speed up the germination process. It also increases the chances of germination. So, I don't skip this part. Now, I am placing 3 to 4 cracked seeds in each pod. And I will use all 8 pods. I will just go with whatever germinates. No thinning the seedlings and no replacement for stunted seeds. That's it. The garden is ready. As always, I will add water but I will not add nutrition. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. It's been 8 days. Surprisingly, I see pretty good germination. I see seedlings in 3 pods and sprouting in 2 pods. Three more pods to go. Now that I see the seedlings, I will start adding nutrition. I will use maxi grow nutrients throughout this grow cycle. I will use one teaspoon of dry nutrients for every one liter of water. Since the bowl capacity of this I do is three liters, I will start with three teaspoons of nutrients. I already dissolved the dry nutrients into about 100 ml of water. Now I am pouring the nutrient solution into the bowl. Going forward, I will dissolve 1 teaspoon of nutrients for every 1 liter of water and top up. Day 11, I see seedlings in one more pod. So now I have seedlings in 7 pods. Just one more to go. This is really wonderful and it already exceeded my expectations. Day 15. Now I see seedlings in all pods. Some pods have three seedlings and some pods have just one seedling. The old seedlings are coming very nice and they started developing real leaves. I covered all the pots using some aluminum foil to block the light and prevent algae. Day 20. All seedlings are settling well and developing real leaves. So far so good. Day 30. Cylindro is growing nice but it is little bit slow. I also see some tip burns. Tip bones are pretty common on cilantro leaves but I just don't want to take risk. So I am going to dump the water, clean the bowl and start over with fresh water and nutrients. Alright, I am done with cleaning and the bowl is ready with fresh water. Just making sure the pump is working fine and the water is flowing well. Alright, I put the plants back into the system. At this point, I am also going to raise the lights and maintain 6 inches of gap between the plants and the light panel. 
Cilantro likes the light, but it doesn't like high temperatures. Since the lights generate some heat, maybe the plants are not happy with it. Hopefully, keeping the lights high will make some difference. Day 35. Cilantro is coming nice. Changing the water and raising the lights is definitely helping. I see pretty healthy growth. It is time to start harvesting the cilantro. The beauty with many herbs and leafy green vegetables is that we can start harvesting any time as long as we are gentle and leaving a couple of leaves on the plants. They will come back pretty fast. Day 45 Plants are continuously producing lots of new leaves. I have been harvesting a little bit of cilantro every single day. So this is all going excellent. Day 65 Cilantro is coming excellent. I am consistently harvesting cilantro every single day and the plants are consistently producing new leaves. Looks like the plants picked up the growth in recent days. Now I am seeing that the plants are getting tall and bushy. Day 75 Yes, the plants definitely picked up the growth. They were very slow in the initial days but they are thriving now. I see lots of cilantro all of the sudden. Looks like one of the plants started flowering but that is just one plant. All the remaining plants are producing lots of nice and wide leaves. The cilantro is very flavorful and the taste is authentic. I can smell it as soon as I come close to this garden. It is beating my expectations in all aspects. I am super happy with this experiment. I think it is just routine from this point. So I will stop here and keep you updated with rest of this grow cycle in a follow-up video. Just to recap a few tips. Number one, keep the lights about 6 inches above the plants. Number two, change the water whenever you suspect unhealthy or stunted growth. Number three, if the pots are too much dry during germination, add a few drops of water at the top. Number four, Keep harvesting the cilantro so that the plants can focus on new growth. That is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.